North Carolina runs a lottery, which includes lots of different kinds of games. One of the games is called Pick Four, but it has a lot of variations. And in this example, we're going to look at playing the exact order version of the Pick Four game. In the exact order game, you can pick a sequence of four digits. For example, you might pick the sequence two, seven, four, one. Or you might pick the sequence seven, 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 seven three. For example, if this is your pick and the sequence that's drawn is seven, two, four, one, you lose. If this is your pick and the sequence that's drawn is seven, seven, three, seven, you lose. The numbers and the order have to match exactly. Now the odds of winning are quite easy to compute. At the drawing there will be four digits drawn in order and all of the digits will be zero to nine which is ten possibilities so there are ten possibilities for which digit appears first, there are ten possibilities for which digit appears second, ten for which appears third, and ten possibilities for which appears fourth. So the number of things that can come up at the drawing when you multiply together is just ten to the fourth power, or ten thousand. So there are ten thousand possibilities. You win only if your one choice matches, so that means you have one chance in 10,000. 1 over 10 to the 4th equals 1 over 10,000 equals point zero 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 one. Now the standard amount to put down on this game is a dollar. You can play the game for a dollar. If you play the game and win, the payoff is $5,000. Now, of course, you spend a dollar on the ticket, so that means your take-home is really 4999 If you lose, you're simply out of the dollar you spent on the ticket, so that's minus a dollar overall to you. So what's the expected return if you play this game? There are two things that can happen, you win or lose. So the expected value is, if you win, the payoff is 4999 and the probability of winning is 0 .0001. Plus the other thing that can happen is you lose, which means minus a dollar out of your pocket. And the probability of losing would be 1 minus the probability of winning, which would be 0 0.9999. So what does that arithmetic come up to? Uh, 4999 times 0 0.0001 is 0.4999 minus 0.9999 equals minus 0.5 minus half a dollar, or minus fifty cents. Or to put it another way, on average, every time you play this game betting a dollar, you lose fifty cents.